Hello, and welcome to the State Road 535 public meeting. My name is Kevin Powell, and I'm the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of the meeting is to provide information and hear your feedback on how the department plans to improve safety and operations along this section of State Road 535. Your input is valuable, and there are multiple ways you'll be able to submit your comments and questions. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445299-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445299-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943, 5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M E L I S S A dot M C K I N N E Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state. Dot fl dot us. That's S T E F A N dot K U L A K O W S K I at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot us. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is located on State Road 535 from north of US 192 to south of International Drive in both Orange and Osceola counties. The purpose of this project is to resurface this segment of State Road 535 and to make intersection improvements to enhance safety and operations for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Currently, State Road 535 is a four-lane roadway with two 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, 10-foot wide outside shoulders with four feet of it being paved next to the roadway, 8-foot wide grass shoulders on the inside, and a 52-foot wide grass median. There is also an existing 5-foot wide sidewalk in some areas along the corridor. As part of the resurfacing effort, the project recommends restriping to provide a wider shoulder with a marked bike lane. Bicycle lanes next to right turn lanes, called keyhole lanes, are included, 
The project also plans to fill in sidewalk gaps to improve connectivity. FDOT conducted a traffic analysis to explore innovative intersection improvements that could enhance safety along the corridor and help to improve traffic flow. The proposed improvements also help to provide safer turning movements on two State Road 535 from side streets and help to reduce the chances for serious injury and fatalities. The first innovative intersection design recommended by the analysis is a restricted crossing U-turn or R-cut at the entrance to the Lake Buena Vista factory stores. This design allows left turns from State Road 535 to a side street or driveway. Those drivers wanting to turn left onto State Road 535 from a side street or driveway must turn right and then make a U-turn. This R-cut design also enhances safety for pedestrians by changing the crossing pattern to eliminate potential conflicts with left turn vehicles. Not only are our cuts a safer option, but they also help improve traffic flow. A signalized R cut operates with just two phases, which allows more green light time for the major street, in this case on State Road 535. A conventional intersection operates with four phases, which extends the light cycle lengths and increases delay times. According to the Federal Highway Administration, or the FHWA, RCUT signalization helps increase the flow of traffic from 20 to 50 percent as compared to conventional intersections. The FHWA also found reductions in the total number of crashes in an RCUT by 20 to 50 percent as compared to a conventional intersection. An RCUT intersection is designed to help reduce the number of crashes or conflict points. In a traditional intersection, there are 32 conflict points. When you replace it with an RCUT intersection, those conflict points are reduced to 14. Another innovative design is the Partial Median U-Turn, or PMUT. This design is planned at two intersections. At these intersections, traffic on State Road 535 can turn right or go straight through the intersection. State Road 535 traffic wanting to turn left onto the side street would go through the intersection, make a U-turn at a signalized location on either side of the intersection, and then turn right onto the side street. Traffic from side streets will be able to turn left, right, or go straight through the intersection. The Pima intersection is proposed at Poinciana Boulevard and at Polynesian Isle Boulevard. Traffic coming from Polynesian Isle Boulevard can go straight through the intersection or turn right or left onto State Road 535. Pavement will be added at the signalized U-turn locations to provide more space for larger vehicles. The PMUT and signalized U-turns are connected and designed to function together to reduce the number of stops for cars. For the PMUT intersections, the conflict points, or areas where crashes could occur, are down to 22 as compared to a normal intersection with 32 conflict points. To improve bicycle safety, six foot wide buffered marked bike lanes will be provided along the outside shoulder. At most intersections throughout the corridor, the bike lane will continue between the through lane and the turn lane shaded in purple in the graphic on this slide. This is called a keyhole lane. Other operational improvements include adding a third southbound lane on State Road 535 between Calypso K Way and Kings Heath Road and extending turn lanes along the corridor. The project also will upgrade all traffic and pedestrian signals, add and improve crosswalks, and enhance lighting at signalized intersections. Design for this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in spring 2024 at an estimated cost of $1.2 million. All work will be done within the FDOT right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin in summer 2024 at an estimated cost of $5.4 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, 
and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comment and questions may be accepted at any time, those submitted by Monday, April 24th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-299-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kevin.powell at dot.state.fl.us. That's K-E-V-I-N dot P-O-W-E-L-L at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5425 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 445-299-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, April 24, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-299-1. Have a good evening.